Hello Plan friends. Hope you guys are all staying happy and healthy out there in real life land. In this episode, we are catching up with some underrated plants. Um, a while back, I reached out to Facebook and Instagram and I asked people to send me clips of cheap, affordable plants they thought were just, you know, under the radar, underrated, that won't cost you basically an arm or a leg or, you know, any other body part. So, uh, enjoy. So literally, this is my favorite plant in my whole house and always has been. She's my most prolific grower. Meet Miss Serapegia Woody Eye. She used to only be about two feet long. Right now, she measures in at almost seven feet long. She made it from the East Coast to the West Coast in one piece. So I actually prefer this one over the variegated one because the variegated version grows much, much slower. This plant could easily give you a foot a month, if not more. Some of the plants in this genus can actually be eaten, which is quite interesting. This plant is native to Asia, Africa, and Australia. Other names for this plant are lantern flower, parasol flower, parachute flower, bushman's pipe, wine glass vine, rosary vine, and necklace vine. The coolest fact I found about this plant during my research is that they're pollinated by flies. So these little flowers that look like parachutes swell up and the flies get momentarily trapped inside. And as they're trying to frantically get out, they help pollinate the plant. My favorite way to propagate this plant is by doing the butterfly method where you would cut on either side of a node, which are these nice little fat lumpy boys right here around the leaves. You would cut around one of those on either side, stick in the soil with some bobby pins, keep the top of the soil moist by spraying with a water bottle. If within a few weeks, you should start seeing roots. The easiest way to do it would probably be in a little moss terrarium. That's how I usually root these up. Only takes a couple weeks. You've got some great roots. You can pop it into soil. And when I water this plant, I wait until it starts to really dry out and kind of pull away from the edges. And you'll notice that they start to look like little shriveled tacos. They lose that succulent feel, that nice fleshy feel, and they start to feel a little bit more like paper and they kind of fold in at the ends. Little shriveled tacos. They lose that fat plump look and they look more like paper as you can see. Good morning, Jimmy and everyone on YouTube. My name's Kyla and my husband's name is Matt and he is a Kiwi living in Australia and I am from here in Melbourne. And these are my two, in my opinion, underrated plants. This is my Pothos Marble Queen. She is stunning. I do believe this is another underrated plant. They just grow so quickly and they're just so pretty with the white cream variegation on it. And honestly, you could buy this as such a small plant because they just grow so quickly. They're so easy to propagate and just make more little babies and put them back in the pot and just make it a fuller, more lush plant. You definitely don't need to start off that way because it can be quite simple yourself to start inexpensive and then grow your plant to the size that you want it. See, it's even got a little leaf growing there. I don't know if I can get to that, which I didn't even see before. <laughs> but yep, yeah, just leaf after leaf, this guy just puts them out. I got this one for $15. Um, from the Jumble, Jungle Collective, which um, during this current time are doing online um, all around Australia. So I believe you could Google to find them. They do have some plants that are a bit expensive, so definitely do your homework, but you can find some real bargains on there. Um, it was actually my husband's choice. He got to choose one plant to put in the box to try and get him on board with my plant obsession, but... This is what he chose and it ended up being one of my absolute favorites so I'm glad that he chose that. And yeah, I recommend for anyone to get this because she is just so great, so easy and so giving. All right, thanks everyone. Bye. 
So I'm trying to take a photo of my tricolour stromanthi and um, Benji decided he wanted to be on the video. So good morning, Benji. Um, I found this experience really awkward and hard to do. So I'm just going to throw this over to my husband who was chuckling in the background. So I said, why don't you give it a go? And he actually did <laughs> pretty well. So thank you, Matt. Take it away. Good morning, everyone from Melbourne, Australia. This is my Stramanthi tricolour. Look at her, isn't she a beauty? So, so as you can uh, see, we've got a little bit of growth coming in uh, somewhere. Over here. Over here, I've been told. Top tip for young players, uh, don't try and use the uh, screen to grab stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we have a new growth point. And some more, uh, oh, new growth point down here. Alrighty. And that is an underrated plant. And this, it? yes, apparently I've been told it's uh, very un underrated and uh, it only cost uh, $23.97 from uh, Bunnings. So uh, it's uh, $23.97 Australian dollars and we've got Spectator here, just uh, making sure uh, we're, we're uh, safe. Cheers. This is a lemon lime philodendron, and I love this plant because it can produce these really beautiful, large, bright lemon lime leaves. And the newest stems are this really fun peach color. And it grows really beautifully as a vine, but also gets these really large leaves if you let it climb up something as well. Hey everyone, um, so I'm here to share my favorite underrated plant. Um, sorry, it's pretty bright with that grow light back there. Um, but mine has to be my Syngonium Chia Pence, which I got not too long ago, but here she is. Um, she's about, oh, I don't know, two and a half feet, maybe three feet tall, but I love it because these beautiful, big, green, healthy looking leaves, about the size of my palm, actually way bigger than that, maybe the whole hand, yeah. Um, so, nothing too expensive. Um, yet nothing too common. So this is my favorite underrated plant. One of my favorite plants that's super underrated is the normal ZZ. I know a lot of people like the ZZ ravens and the variegated ones, but I find these really, really lovely. They're huge, they have these beautiful, thick, waxy leaves. Look at this thing, it's absolutely massive. And I really don't have to care for it at all. It literally just exists and I water it every once in a while when I remember to. And it gives me these brand new, really, really nice leaves. I've got tons and tons of new growth down there. One of my favorite underrated plants is the Sansevieria or Mother-in-Law's Tongue, or I think it's been reclassified as a Dracaena, if I'm not wrong. It's got these really, really thick leaves and it really isn't fussy at all. Look at the gorgeous, gorgeous variegation. It's absolutely stunning. And it even has like more patterning on it. And this plant is started out as one sort of like rosette. And it's now grown about that big. I have about maybe 10-ish rosettes now. And it's only been about two years. So I'm really, really happy with this guy. And I kind of want more of him now. Thank you so, so much to everyone who contributed to this episode and also everyone who contributed to the other episodes of the Plants of Instagram series. Yeah, guys, if you appreciated what they sent in, what they talked about, their plants, definitely give them a follow on Instagram. Um, right. So, uh, hope you guys continue to stay well and happy and safe. Till next time, happy planting.